Hello friends, welcome to GRE Target. Our today's topic is GRE Exponential Rules. Now our rules are, suppose product rules, quotient rule, power rule, zero exponential rule, negative exponential rule, exponential power rule. We also going to show the example according to this. Now, first of all, the first rule is product rule. So the product rule is x raised to m into x raised to n. So is equals to, we have to add this exponential m plus n so we will get the result on x raised to m plus n now the second rule is the question tool the question tool is equals to x raised to m divided by x raised to n so we will get negative sign so the answer is x raised to m minus n now our third rule is power rules power rule is x raised to m into n so we have to multiply this two term in the exponential form so we will get x raised to m into n now our rule is zero exponential rule. So x raised to zero is equals to one. Suppose one raised to zero is equals to one. Seventy five raised to zero is equals to one. Eighty five raised to zero is equals to one. Any number which is raised to zero is equals to one. Negative exponential rule. Now the rule is x raised to minus m. So at that time we have to divide simply one divided by x raised to m. So it will become positive. Now suppose our term is positive x raised to m. If we want to negative, then it divide by 1 raised to x raised to minus n. Now last rule is expanded power rule. Expanded power rule, we have to multiply each term. So a x divided by y raised to m. So we will give a raised to m, x raised to m divided by y raised to m. Let's solve the example. Suppose our first example is x raised to 5 into x raised to 4. If we don't know the exponential rule, then we simply multiply it. 5 times x, 4 times x. So we will get x raised to 9. But if we know the rules, the first rule we have to apply, the product rule. Then at that time, the calculation will become easy. So we will get x raised to 5 into x raised to 4. So we will simply write x raised to 5 plus 4. So at that time, we will get answer easily. So this two answer is same. We can clearly see that the second method is lot easier compared to the first method. Now the second rule is now the second sum is a raised to 5 divided by a raised to 3. At that time, if we don't know the rules, then we simply do this way. 5 times a divided by 3 times a. Now cancel out the common term, so we will get a square. But if we know the rules, the quotient rule. The quotient rule is x raised to m and divided by x raised to n. At that time, x raised to m minus n. So we will get in the same way a raised to 5 divided by a raised to 3. So we will get a raised to 5 minus 3. So at that time, our answer is a square. We know that the second method is easier because we know the rules, question rules. Let's solve the third example. The third example is a raised to 4 raised to 2 into a raised to 7. Now we know the power rule. The power rule is x raised to m into n. So we will get common term. So we have to multiply which two term? First two term. So in the exponential a raised to 8 into a raised to 7 now we have to apply the product rule the product rule is x raised to m into x raised to n equals to x raised to m plus n so our answer is a raised to 15 here we have to simply add so we will get 8 plus 7 is equals to a raised to 15 now fourth number same way we have to apply for the first term in the numerator we have to apply the power rule so the numerator will become m raised to 15 divided by m raised to 9 now we will going to apply quotient rule the quotient rule is x raised to m divided by x raised to n so we have to put the negative sign at that time we will get m raised to 6 now the fifth number sum is x raised to 5 into x raised to 3 raised to 2 divided by x raised to 4 at that time the first term is same but the second term is we have to multiply it. so the power rule so the power rule is x raised to 6 because 3 into 2 3 into 2 we will get the 6 now we have to apply the product rule the product rule is x raised to 5 plus 6 and divided by x raised to 4 so we will get x raised to 11 divided by x raised to 4 now we have to apply the quotient rule for the same so we will get the answer x raised to 11 minus 4 x raised to 11 minus 4 is equals to x raised to 7 
Now six number sum. Now we have to take the common term. The common number is seven into three. Seven into three. So we will get twenty one. Now a square and a raised to five minus five. Minus five. Look at this sign. Minus five. Now we have to apply the product rule for the a square and a raised to minus five. So the product rule is. Now here we have applied minus sign because we know that the plus into negative five. So we will get the negative term. So here we have applied the negative sign. So we will get twenty one a raised to minus three. Or we can also write this twenty one divided by a raised to three according to the expanded rule. The seven number sum is nine x raised to seven y raised to five divided by three. Into x square into y cube. Now we have to cancel out the common term. The common term is so we will get three three is a nine. Now we we are applying the quotient rule for the x term. So quotient rule is seven minus two. Same way we will apply for the y for the quotient rule. So we will get y raised to five minus three. So our answer is three. Into x raised to five because seven minus two is equals five, and y square because five minus three is two. Now our eight number sum is four into a raised a raised to minus two into b cube whole square. So we have to multiply each term with two. So first of all we are going to four square because the square is given to four. Now second term is a raised to minus two raised to two. So the second term, so our third term is b cube raised to two. So we will get easily. So four square, we all know that four square is sixteen. Now a raised to minus two into two, we have to apply the power rule. So we will get a raised to minus four. Now here we want also we have to apply the power rule. So we will get b raised to six. So our answer is sixteen. B raised to six divided by A raised to four because we can also write this in the expanded rule. So one divided by a raised to four. Now nine number sum. We have to apply the power rule for the two raised to minus two into five. We are going to apply the power rule. So we will get two raised to minus ten. We can expand this. So we will get one divided by two raised to ten. This is a lot easier. Now the last sum for today's session. To x raised to minus two y cube into z divided by y square whole square. So we have to give the each term. So we are going to x raised to minus four because two two is a four. Now two three is a six and z square because here no term is given. It means there is one over here. Now y square y square into two. So we will get. Y is to four. Now we will take the common term. The common term is y. So we will take a look at over here. So we have the quotient rule. So the quotient rule is y is to six minus four. So we will get y square over here. So our answer is x is to minus four into y is to six minus four because we have applied the quotient rule over here and z square. So our final answer is x is to minus four into y square into z square. Thank you. Yeah.